Hello guys, today I wanted to talk about my luggage system, the brand is Shad, and I bought them two years ago and did about 50,000 kilometers, traveled to 30, 30 countries and yeah, I wanted to do a long-term review about the, these cases and about the top case. This review will be, as always, as all my reviews, I do it in sections. The first section will be just general knowledge about shot and the cases, then um, the specs, like what, what's the weight, is it waterproof, how many kilograms can you put in it, then um, all the additional things you can get for the top case and for the, for the cases, then uh, my likes and dislikes, what I like, what I don't like about them, and at the end I will show you how the bike looks without them, because it's kind of special for this system. Uh, it looks very good without the cases and at the end I'm gonna do a resume like would I buy it again and if I like it. These cases uh, I think they released them in 2014 and the top case a little bit later maybe 2016 and both the cases and the top case won some uh, award for the design and I totally agree because the design of these cases is awesome. Top case is yeah, basic but the side cases I really like. They, they look really good. Yeah, they have some special things about them, especially yeah, the design and um, this kind of drop. Uh, yeah, they look like a drop, you know, and this is uh, more aerodynamic, so they supposed to use a little bit less gas. I don't know, you have to prove it. I, I didn't, but uh, this is one thing. And then the mounting system, it's a 3P, it's patented by Shard and it's very special because you have only three point, points where it's mounted and you don't see the whole rack, rack you know. It, it looks really nice. I will show you just, just in some minutes. Okay, yeah. There's also another model which is SH35. This is uh, SH36 and it's basically the same they just have some aluminium aluminium um, plates here and they call it that adventure style i don't know it's it's basically the same i don't think the size also is different i don't think it's 35 liters or a little less and the top case is um, sh 58 x x stands for like extendable you can move it like make it bigger or smaller now it's in the middle you can see it you can drop it down here or make it higher i will show it to you uh, just in a bit yeah i bought them two years ago as i said for my trip to central asia some guys uh, said to me why this cheap plastic cases because normally you would get like proper aluminium boxes for a trip like this but i wanted just to save money you know and just choose not the cheapest one but cheap and a good option so this is how i got them yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned this before, 50,000 kilometers on them, 30 countries, and I used them really, uh, let's say, hardcore. Because uh, I dropped the bike many times on the cases, on stones, on, on asphalt, like sand, everything, and I put a lot of weight on it. You can see they are scratched, they don't look really nice, but they are definitely durable, you know. Uh, I had... I, I will put a picture in here now, I think. I had like um, some some bags here with a sleeping bag and mattresses and then some locks for the fire, you know, for the evening. Water, here I had a tire. It, it was no problem. Everything is still working. Everything is still fine. So yeah, I think I can, I can give an opinion about these cases. Let's talk about the specs. The number is always, like with the Shard brand, it's always for the size. So the number 58 stands for 58 liters. This one is 36, 36 liters. And the top case you can move around and you can do 46 liters, 52 liters or 58. Now it's 52 liters in the middle. And yeah, this is great. The weight of the cases. The cases weight 3.5 kilograms and you can put like total weight can be it's allowed to be 10 kilograms and the top case is about 5.5 uh, kilograms and it's the same you can put uh, 10 kilograms in it but as I said it's more like a yeah 
just you can put a little bit more not a little bit i put at least double on it and it was still fine you know so it it, it can carry much much more is it waterproof i would say it's waterproof because I never had an issue with water with these cases and I was in rain and snow and many other things. Of course, if you wash it directly like this now in these uh, things here, yeah, the water will go in, but maybe some drops. It's, 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 I would say it's waterproof. You, you don't have to worry. You just put your stuff inside and I carry my laptop, everything around. No special protection, just put it there and it's fine in the rain. Yeah. Uh, driving with them, it feels good. I, I can't complain. They say when you buy them, there is a piece of paper that says 120 is maximum uh, kilometers per hour. But yeah, I'm normally going to uh, 120, 130 kilometers per hour and it's fine. But I also tested them till 180. So they were still fine, but of course I don't recommend going like that fast with these big cases, you know. But they can. So it's again like more like a orientation you know it's not the maximum when you buy the cases new you get a third uh, cylinder uh, this lock locks here and you can exchange it in your top case when you buy the top case somewhere else then you put the same one here and you have one key and you can use it for all three cases this is uh, great the price is about for the cases it's about 250 if you look on eBay the top case is 230 250 as well so around 500 you can all you can get all the cases in the top case and for the mounting system this 3p system is about 100 and the rack for the top case is also around 100 so basically for 700 euro you can get it it of course it depends on the bike but roughly you know it's about 700 euro yeah and if you compare them to Givi or SV Motech, yeah, I think SV Motech is better, the quality, but it's much more expensive, you know. And the GV ones, yeah, it's basically the same. Some people like fight in forums about, oh, GV is better, no, Shard is better. But I think it's, it's the same, you know. I just like the design much more. They look better. And also this three-piece system, i show you just in a minute. It, it just looks better than the GV, GV and yeah, I don't know, I like the plastic also a little bit more, so in my opinion they are a little bit better than the GV ones. Yeah, okay, what kind of extras can you get? You can get these panels in uh, different colors. I have the carbon fiber one, exactly the same here. And when you buy these, these things new, you just choose one. You can choose like piano black or white or red, so whatever fits your bike you can get which is awesome, you get one for free. And what else? Um, yeah, there are bags, inner bags, like made from soft uh, fabric. You just put them in, they are cut it perfectly, you know, and then you take them out and it's, you don't have to take the boxes, the, the cases up to the hotel, just just the, just the bags. It, this is also awesome. But of course they are extra. I think they are about 30 or 40 euro. And then for the pillion you can, you get a cushion here and it's more comfortable then we just put normal pillow or something there when we were riding and here you can get an extra rack you uh, drill the holes for holes here and then you screw it in and then you put some light things like a sleeping bag or something like this on top of it yeah what do i like i like the wonderful beautiful design of these bags look at them they look awesome i think they look great better than any other bags that I know. Of course not this is the real adventure ones with aluminium and but, but from plastic bags um, cases I think they are awesome. Then what do I like? They're, that they are durable extremely I told you I, I dropped the bike so many times and did nothing still you know they just like of course they scratch but they work just fine. Then this 3P mount I will, gonna sh I will show you just <laughs> when Albina I'll be nice sitting there. When she is gonna film me, I will show you around with all the cases and how it works. I like this one, 3P mounting system. And I like the fact that I didn't have to repair anything. I dropped the bike a thousand times and they still good. Also, I like the fact that you don't need a key. I mounted them and you don't need a key to open them. You know, you just push the button 
and you open it. In some cases, like the GV ones, you need a key, I think. So you can't just open them without a key. Same goes for the side cases. Open them. And I can show you how they look inside. This is the straps to hold things. Yeah, basically, this is the handle of the push here and they're open and same here just a push and they're open okay okay what i don't like is um, that they open the way they open that i showed you that they open like on the side and i don't like it too much i would prefer if they opened like this or like this so if you if it's full with clothes or something like this you open it and then things fall out, especially if the bike is uneven and then you need two people, one holding here, the other one getting the stuff. Yeah, I don't like this too much. And the second thing, there are only two things I don't like, is this leash. You see, this one is working and this one is broken. Uh, because sometimes when you close it and it's full, see like this, it stays there and then you break it. I think they should put it somewhere here maybe like two of you, or maybe something else would be would be one would be much better. Okay. okay. Now I wanted to show you how the bike looks without the cases and how you take them off. So basically, it's open. You just push here one, and then a little bit farther, it's off. Very simple. The top case it goes like this. You push again, it's open. Go down, and it's off. Same goes for this one. It's open. Push. Like 20 seconds, 25 seconds you need to get them off. And this is how it looks without them. Now let's get them back on. Take the case. Maybe you can stop the time down it's on here you need the key again and the last one just go in here and it's closed that's it pretty simple resume yeah what can I say I I'm, I like them they're great <laughs> They're, they're awesome, they're very durable, they're cheap, they're beautiful, what, what do you want more, you know? Would I buy them again? 100%, yeah. If I break them or if I lose one or if I sell the bike with them, I will definitely get new ones for another bike because I think it's the best for this price and for this, with these looks, you know? So 100% I would buy it again. Okay. I think it, we had enough. This video is long again, and the next one, the next video I want to do, it's just for the NC riders. Um, all the extra additional things, it will be also available in Russian, German, and English. Until then, ride safe and see you somewhere.